What's up everybody, Jay here and welcome back to the Planted Tank and today I'm going to show you my 20 gallon high. It's been a while since I did an update on this tank so anyways let's check it out. Okay so as you can see the tank has CO2 now and the main reason that I did that is because the Ludwigia and the Bacopa were pretty much just chilling there, not growing at all. But uh, as you can see the Ludwigia has finally started to shoot up, you can see there there's a gap in between the leaves. That's where I decided to add the CO2. So they're definitely growing a lot and uh, they're gonna look really good here soon. So really, really excited for those stem plants. This, this tank is gonna look really, really awesome, especially with those stem plants going all the way up to the top. They're gonna curl over on both sides too, which is gonna be really awesome. But uh, yeah, other than that, the tank is doing absolutely awesome. Red Man is doing awesome. The light is working out great. The filter is doing an excellent job as well. I have been dosing the tank uh, one pump a day with this stuff instead of doing the, the two pumps per 10 gallons or, or the one pump per 10 gallons uh, every few days or whatever the directions say. I like to feed my plants every single day for high tech setups. That way your plants are always getting the nutrients they need instead of getting them just randomly throughout the week. So um, all the plants are just thriving, as you can see. Um, I really wanna take the water sprite out of the tank for some reason. Um, it's just kind of a pain to keep up with. I knew it was gonna be like this when I put it in there, but uh, it did balance the tank super quick. Now I think the dwarf sag and the stem plants are doing the bulk of the work, but uh, a lot of people have been asking me where I'm getting these uh, intakes filter sponges from. Um, I'm actually just going to my local PetSmart and just, uh, I'm buying the AquaClear 30. Uh, it's like a three pack of sponges for your AquaClear 30. I just basically cut those up and then poke a hole in the center of it. And they work really, really well. They keep my filter a lot more clean so I don't have to do maintenance as often. But uh, that's pretty much all I got for today's video. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you never miss another upload. And as always, keep it planted.